Good evening and welcome to yet another edition of the Celebrity Creator Show. Kathy, how are you doing tonight? I am doing awesome, Brian, and excited about our guest. Oh my goodness, me too. You will not believe the energy this gentleman brings to our stage. This uh, We met him in person a few months back, maybe a couple months. I'm terrible with dates, as Kathy can attest, but you are going to love this guy as much as we do, maybe even more. But before we get into introducing him and bringing him on, as we do with each show, just in case you're not familiar with this woman to my, let's see, it would be your right, my left. Uh, this is, right here, this is Kathy Stover. Now, she has a wealth of experience in the world of business and marketing. And I always say this and it probably gets mundane, but so what? It's our show. I can do what we want. Um, an absolute wealth. Now, put, put a quotation mark on each side of wealth because she is unbelievably experienced in, a, in just a phenomenal way. She has over 25 years experience as an operations manager and sales manager at a Fortune 500 company. Her corporate career ended six years ago as she retired by choice, as she decided to pursue her passion by enlisting her over 20 years of experience as an internet and network marketing entrepreneur to work from home. Notice the word marketing, you'll hear it again, wait. She's been an extremely successful affiliate marketer with experience dating back to the early 90s. On top of that, she also has excelled in network uh, marketing, also known as MLM, dating back to the mid 80s. My goodness, do you see why she's my business partner and not yours? I'm kidding, but she is mine, not yours. Kathy also has experience as a professional speaker, and most recently, she has become a highly successful social media strategist. She has come to the point where she's turning people away from the door. She has to be choosy. Doesn't mean she closed the doors, but if you need help in social media strategy, which includes a lot more than just social media, as you know it, most likely, then be sure to contact her. She also holds designations as a power seller and a top rated seller on eBay. Again, that's in the marketing and selling realm. And those are very difficult to acquire, at least from my vantage point, because she's awesome. And on eBay, I'm, I'm just an underling. I'm a novice. I, I barely know how to buy stuff on eBay. Are you kidding me? Sell it. <laughs> she is extremely well connected. In fact, she's responsible for bringing many of the guests you see on our show week in and week out. Without further ado, I'd like to welcome my dear friend and co-creator of this here very show, Kathy Stover. Yay. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Brian, over the top as always. But before we go on to introduce our fabulous guest tonight, I want to tell everybody who may not have been on our show before, and for those, like Brian said, who have been, this is what we do every week, and it's our show, and I want to tell you about this guy <laughs> over here to my right. I always get it mixed up. Left. I'm going to do like this. That Brian works. has over 24 years of software engineering experience. So it's not just software experience, it's engineering and software. So much of what you see around us, all the technical stuff, all of the beautiful graphics and how we come to you live with all of our guests every week is due to Brian's prowess and all of his knowledge and, and technology. He's a geek, and that's okay because he says it himself. I mean, I wouldn't call him that, but that's what he says. He talks about my um, expertise in selling. Brian, too, is very adept and was involved very heavily with multi-level marketing, which is sales, affiliate marketing, which is sales, very successfully. As a matter of fact, and I've shared this uh, most recently because it was recently, that Brian had put together, well, actually, it was a couple of years ago, a fabulous name site and acquired over 50,000 Twitter followers and actually sold it for a tidy sum. And that's been very recent. In addition to that, Brian is also a speaker. He is working on a book. So we can certainly put author behind that title. In addition to that, um, Brian also is very adept. He talks about me with social media strategy, very adept at Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and YouTube. And I can tell you what, folks, I could go on. He's a fabulous man. I enjoy spending every Tuesday night with him. I'm going to turn it back over to him. Welcome to another Tuesday night, Brian. <laughs> well, thanks. Who are you talking about all that time, by the way? I didn't under, I didn't recognize any of it. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much, Kathy. That was wonderful. All kidding aside, uh, this is a wonderful woman to work with. She's a dear, dear friend of mine, as well as a fantastic business partner. Uh, so let's just say that, huh? Let's move on to this incredible, dynamic young man 
Our very special guest on tonight's show is professional videographer and founder of Your Video Solution, Jimbo Marshall. Jimbo has traveled with Discovery, and yes, that means Discovery the Channel, to South Africa, China, Costa Rica, Italy, Greece, do we have time for the rest? Uh, and the Grand Canyon. He has shot great white sharks, my goodness, lions, hippos, elephants, and giraffes. He's done a 10K hike on the Great Wall of China, filmed on Mount Etna, which is an active volcano, has done numerous helicopter shoots, and this guy's married and he's risking his life every day. Do you believe this? And has <laughs> produced from some of the most influential leaders in coaching, business training, and transformational leaders. His clients included the aforementioned Discovery, yes, the channel, along with Lisa Sasevich, JJ Virgin, Andrea J. Lee, Suzanne Falter Barnes, Jeffrey Van Dyke, Kay White, Lisa Bowles, Christian Mickelson, Linda P. Jones, yay Linda, Alexis Neely Martin, the California Highway Patrol, and MAD, which is Mothers Against Drunk Driving, and more. Well, we don't have enough time to go through the rest of them. We'll let him do that. So with that, please help us welcome our very special guest, Jimbo Marshall. Jimbo, welcome to the Celebrity Creator Show, my buddy. <laughs> Hey guys, show, I'm very excited to be here, and uh, I noticed you said young. I just wanted to point out it is my birthday this Saturday, and I'll be 43, so All right. I'm holding on, holding on to that, you. Happy birthday, awesome. buddy. <laughs> yes, happy birthday. Thanks, guys. Well, you know, we're excited about the fact that you have got all of this expertise around you. I mean, you've been to incredible places and have shot some phenomenal video. Brian and I both have taken taken a look at some of the uh, the stuff that you have out there. It's un it's absolutely unbelievable. Um, well, thank but, you. I appreciate you know, that. The majority of us know how important video is, right? Or do we really? I mean, right. video is video, right? Or does it really make a difference whether or not it's professionally shot? Well, I think it's easy for me to say that it does make a difference if it's professional. Of course, I benefit when people hire me, um, so that's a given. But I think the reality is, Kathy and Brian, when you have video on your site, it's like an active resume. And I will often tell clients, you wouldn't show up uh, to a job interview in clothing from Walmart. I, I mean, you might if that's what you think is fantastic, and that's great if you do. But I think you get the point. You would, you you would show up in your best outfit. You would want to present yourself in the best light. And I really believe with online video, it's the same analogy because if you look at it this way, people um, don't keep the same schedules as they used to. There's not a lot of. I mean, there are a lot of nine to fivers out there, but we're all working until the night. We're you know working side jobs i know before i started you know doing video full time i was a school teacher for 8 years and i i shot weddings on the weekends i would shoot anything that moved uh, to really make a paycheck and get me better because the reality was for me it's all about telling a story and presenting your story so when i go to a site and i see uh, you know that main introduction video or or the about them and it's on video and i can't really hear it it takes away from the message. And I think that's the bottom line. What people don't understand is they think, oh, I've got this great coaching program and, and I'll, I'll make this flip video and, and people will just come up and sign up by the dozens. And the reality is halfway during watching your video, their email goes off and they're distracted because your video wasn't engaging enough to keep them there. So that's really my message, I think, is like, You've got to look at it like an online resume, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. This is the material that represents you. And you, you know, if you really stop and think about it, you want to put your best foot forward. That's great uh, tips and advice because Kathy and I understand completely the value of video. You know, duh, we have a live show. But, uh, <laughs> right. but there are different right. ways. There are different ways to utilize video, not just, you know, you don't have to go to the extreme of live, which is extremely powerful by the way but yeah, most yeah, people yeah. have all everything they need in front of them to do recorded video i.e. something you can upload to YouTube etc and you, you kind right. of touched on this but how can someone use video to position themselves truly as an expert in their field 
Well, it, it goes along with what are you teaching and then how can you translate that into little sound bites for video? Because the reality is, I believe, <laughs> I, I won't say the reality, I will say I believe that people buy from people that they like, period. And how does that happen? Well, if I'm in California and you're in Omaha, Nebraska, it happens through video online. And so the reality is what I like to do is take clients through a process where we develop a strategy, we go over their coaching programs, whatever their messages are, and we translate those into videos. Um, either that looks like, you know, we do a lot where coaches come to us and they want like, you know, three videos with them teaching content and that's going to be put out so that they're, they're stacking for the preview call. You know, they're trying to get people on that preview call, get people excited about what they have to say. And when you work with a professional um, who really understands this coaching world, I would definitely preface that because you, this is a special world. You, you guys know it and I know it. It's a special world. It's got to be handled in a special way. You've got to work with people that understand your message and are able to help you communicate it. You know, I see a uh, video out there of people that I personally met that I go, I know their message is stronger than their video displays. So what really happens when you work with a professional who understands what you're trying to accomplish, you work with a video coach. I call myself a director, a producer, because I'm gonna take my clients from zero to 60, you know, and, and develop the complete package for them. But when you work with a professional, that's somebody who's got your best interest at heart, just like when you have a coach. And, you know, they always say like, a coach can see yourself uh, bigger than you are. You know, they, a, co a great coach can see potential in you when you might not necessarily see it. I really do that with my clients on video. I know what they're trying to accomplish and go, look, here's how we can do it in two minutes. Here's how the video is gonna roll out. We're gonna do this on Facebook. We're gonna, we're gonna send this out to your list and we're gonna create a platform. It really, you know, it was interesting. I was shooting last week here in the studio and you know, the client told me, it was our second time working together, which is always incredibly awesome because, you know, it's repeat business and it doesn't get better than that, of course. But now you're really developing a relationship. You know, I've worked with Lisa almost two years now. And so we really know each other inside and out. So when we show up, shoot, it just happens. So my client um, last week says to me, you know, when we shot the first time, the great thing was when you delivered the videos for me, it was like all of a sudden, I had a platform mm. and I was proud of my message. Yes. And that to me was fantastic. I love the money, but that to me <laughs> was fantastic. You know what I mean? To be able to help somebody and take them yeah. from this point of like, oh, they, because you've met them, you know, we all know, and probably people out there, you're dying to get your message out. But the reality is, how do you do that? Well, you do it with, Shows like, you know, the celebrity creators, you, you know, I'm trying to get my message out. You do it through video, you do it through radio, podcast interviews. Um, you cannot look at marketing any longer as this, okay, I've gotten a website and I'm in business. It just doesn't happen that way. Well, you know, Brian and I can attest, we met you a couple of months ago in Palm Springs at an event that you were actually shooting and yeah. yeah Brian and I have been to several events and we have a, a couple of folks a friend of ours Craig Deswalt that we help kind of behind the scenes and then we have also assisted um, at, at somebody else's event early last year and in meeting you and watching how you work in your team Brian and I had conversations about this after the event that we were at and even, and, and this is coming to my mind too, you also shot our testimonial. If you set us up so professionally, mm -hmm. you were not just, you know, stand there and, okay, think about it, one, two, three, and boom, it was there, like oftentimes happens. You were setting us up, moving us in, making sure that the light was right, um, yeah. ask, kind of queuing us up with questions ahead of time. It felt like, you, who you are, a director and a producer. You were setting the stage for us to be able to act, if you will, and, and provide a very professional 
testimonial for this individual. So we, we can say firsthand just from working with you in that capacity on the other end of, of a testimonial and then watching you work and queuing and just setting everything up during that event. It was, it was fabulous. It was very, very professional, which we, yeah, we have not seen cool. to that degree. Well, thank you. I think everybody um, has their gift, right? Their blessing. And, and, you know, with a name like Jimbo, you shouldn't be shocked. I'm from Texas, <laughs> where Jimbo was, you know, kind of common knowledge. You get to Southern California and you're like, hi, I'm Jimbo. And they're like, who? <laughs> and never mind. <laughs> so, but I think the point I'm trying to make here is we all have something that we're great at. And as long as we follow it with passion, we're going to be great at it. And as long as we're not quiet about what we do, that word is ultimately going to get out there. Uh, I've been blessed. I had an extensive background in medical infomercials. Um, and I did that for over three years, produced over 400 medical infomercial type shows. And for those clients, these are medical doctors, cosmetic dentists, cosmetic surgeons, stuff like that cash pay medical practices. If the phone doesn't ring, you don't get invited back. <laughs> so I took it very seriously. I always joke, you know, I have three kids and they have this habit of eating and I like to feed them because I take the job very seriously. And for me, it was like, I want to get good at this because I can see where it can lead to and how I can benefit other people. Right? So for, when I shoot testimonials at an event, it's something that I do in my mind where I know this is going to be used for editing. See the key difference, you know, with, because everybody knows Craigslist, you can go on and hire a, a videographer for 500 bucks and you know, whatever, right? But the reality is if they don't see that big picture, like I mentioned earlier, you're gonna be stuck in the process for a long time, you're gonna be wondering why things aren't really happening for you. And really for the testimonials when I shoot events, everything that I do comes from a marketing angle. I'm looking plain and simple, no jokes aside, how am I going to make my client feel like I hired Jimbo Marshall and it was the best thing I've done. That is my goal every time I pick up a video camera. So for me, when I'm shooting testimonials, I'm thinking, how will this be used in the end products so that when somebody comes to that site, they, they watch bits, they hear bits, and they go, I've got to have that. And that's it. It is no more complex than that. It's shooting for an edit in mind and knowing, you know, it's years of experience. And I still, the great news is, just like with you guys in the show, you're learning every week, you know, you're learning something new and I'm learning little tricks of the trade all the time, you know, and that's why, you know, even now it's like, I'm building my team around me. I have guys that work for me regular on a regular basis. And it's so great to take what I have, what we all think is almost like common knowledge. You know, you start going on about the testimonials and I'm like, you know, big freaking deal. <laughs> like I can do that in my sleep, right? Well, it's only because that's what I've been doing for so long, you know, just like when I was a school teacher, you know, at my eighth year, I didn't have that, you know, deer in the headlights look when eighth graders came at me, <laughs> you right. know, I understood where they were at, I knew how to handle them and it was a non-issue. So for me, shooting always, it's always about the end product and we, we never, we always start with you know, whether we're at an event or we're working with somebody here in the studio or we're working with somebody um, on site to, to uh, promote, to make promo, promo videos to promote an event, we always look at what is the end goal? Do we want people to sign up? Do we want them to laugh? Do we want them to just feel a little bit closer to you? You know, because the reality is I think the big motivational coaches in this industry they understand it's a journey and it's not about getting rich this fall. It's about providing service for clients for a long time. And for me, I look at it the same way. You know, I'm, 
I tell this story and I, I'll tell it now because I, I started working with Lisa Sasevich almost two years ago and I found out about her kind of randomly through JJ Virgin. I know the universe works in mysterious ways, right? I had no idea what she did, who she was. So I'm at her first big mission 09 event and I'm like all into it and this is the greatest thing. I'm like, this is the best Kool-Aid I've ever drank. This stuff is fantastic. <laughs> Where have I been all of my life that I didn't know about this? I thought like Tony Robbins was just for like TV stuff. I, I, like I had no idea of this <laughs> philosophies, right? And then I got in there and it's like, just like how she likes to service her clients, I realized for me, I don't want a client that's like a one-time video shoot and then we're done. I mean, if I've served their needs and they don't need anything else, that's great. But for me, the clients I work best with, and now I'm developing a, you know, quite a number of them, it's right. that real client where you know the deeper you go, the better you're getting, you're hearing about their results, you're watching them just blow up and help just tons of people. So it's just a great feeling to be kind of a little part of a wheel in somebody's bigger plan, you know? And the great news is like with Lisa, she has this master plan. And now I work with clients that are trying to start and they know they have this message and now I'm able to go, hey, let me step back, take a look at what you're trying to accomplish and I'll lay out something that's really going to be long lasting so that we're not like a fly by night, I can get you rich, I can make you confident, I can do this, you know, I can solve all of your six figure problems with one seminar. You guys know and I know that doesn't happen, it's a journey and those are the kind of clients that really work best and I think in that world you know those are the ones that are sustaining you know, I'll, know if made any sense at all <laughs> you know I'm one, one thing what. that you said one thing that you said was about the fact that we all have gifts and we we do how yeah. true that is and what what a blessing you are to your clients because you're not just a videographer you're not just a producer yeah. you're not just a director you have something beyond that. And, and you were talking about kind of the in, intuitive part of, of marketing and knowing how to position the individual on the other end so that, so that they're going to answer the right things or, or ask the right questions and kind of move and flow with that so that it's going to be the end product that your client maybe doesn't expect, but it almost gives an over-deliver yeah, that's that's not typical to most videographers. What what do you what do you say, Brian? Well, yeah, I, I I've got a quick comment for this, and sure. I'll I'll uh, mention one of my clients who I absolutely adore, and I know you guys do too, Linda Jones, who I think yes. is one of the most intelligent, thoughtful, and just kind women. I mean, you know, it's like I watched her from afar, and I wanted to work with her. And then I got the opportunity and I was, I was giddy because I just, she comes from like Wall Street, like serious concrete dollars and cents, which we all can respect, right? It's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> and then I worked with her, we shot videos to promote her, uh, her event in Palm Springs. She comes back to me two months later and says, you know, you really up leveled me you really up leveled the event because you knew what I needed to promote this event. Yeah. And like it goes back to that gifts we have. It's like yes. sometimes we're so busy. We're so busy paying next month's mortgage that I I'm guilty of it. You, you don't I don't stop and celebrate and go, yay, Jimbo, you up leveled somebody. I'm just like, <laughs> OK, kids are still eating. Next video. <laughs> but it, it, you know, right on the flip side of that, it made me feel like, oh my gosh, this is a confidence builder that she didn't have to say that, right? It was like she was just being nice and honest. And and for me, it like made my whole day and it made me realize, you know, all of a lot of these people will say you gotta own your, your worth, you've got to own your value, you've got to step into the, the spotlight. And you know, for a guy who's semi used to being behind the camera for a, for a while 
it's challenging, you know, but in that same regards, we'll, we turn clients away literally every week because somebody will call me, they're price shopping, they don't know me from what I really do, and they'll go, I need this video shot, blah, 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 and I'll quote them, you know, a very expensive price, <laughs> and they'll go, yeah, that's not what we're looking for, that's too much. And my comeback is like, look, if you need a guy with a video camera, it's not me. <laughs> Because my handprint is going to be on that video by the time I'm done. I'm going to understand everything you do, hmm. what you're trying to accomplish, and I'm going to be the person that executes that for you. So I, you know, it's interesting that you brought that up and, and thank you because I would tell everybody out there, look, if you are concrete on your message and you don't need any help, hire a professional, have them come shoot it, and you tell them what's going to happen. You know, and any camera guy that's professional that's doing this for a living can accomplish that. It gets to another level when you're working with a producer. And, and really what I'm finding lately is a lot of people, they don't have, and me included, it's the self-confidence. Mm. It's like you think you know what your message is, and then yeah. all of a sudden I go, and action, what was my message again? <laughs> like, it's like this that would be me. Message. That's hard. Like, Brian, Brian always does really well at that part. He just kind of yeah. flies, sails right through it, and I'm like, Wah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's hard. It's challenging. It is and hard. When I'm on this side of the camera, I experience the same thing, and I rely on my guys to go, all right, Jimbo, do this again. Add this. Take away that. Because if you're really performing and you're really giving – your hole to this camera, you need a fact checker on the other side. <laughs> you know, it really helps out. <laughs> so. Yes. Yeah, well, we were we wanted to find out what set you apart from others, and we are finding that out at this very moment. In fact, uh, many of the things you are talking about right now, I was not even privy to prior to tonight. Even though we got to talk quite a bit, Jimbo, we didn't go into depth about your business and exactly every detail of it. But another well, thing. Well, you and I were two buddies. Yeah, that's <laughs> which, right. That was the great part. You know, for me, it's so great meeting people like you, real people who want to help people who are doing great things. I just get focused on, hey, I want to know about you and how'd you guys get the show and like <laughs> that kind of thing. You know? But so a couple thanks. of a couple of things because one other thing that makes you stand out amongst other videographers is something that a lot of people may not know is Jimbo is also an actor. So aside from being behind the camera, he is often in front of the camera. In fact, he, he's got an entire series. I have a DVD, very funny comedy. Uh, so he, not, he will understand it from both sides of the camera. So when he's behind the camera, he knows what it's like to be in front of the camera. So that gives him another added edge. So he's got, and, look and at, this is a full that's package. That's what a good director will do. Pardon? A good director understands what an actor goes through. Yeah. And it's true. I. I have a degree in uh, film production and then a minor in theater. It was the only way I got through school. I mean, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> like, it was the only time I was like, okay, this feels right, right? And a, a, in the business, it's always like he's, a, he's a, a, an actor's director. You know what I mean? Meaning that this director understands what it's like to perform. And if you translate that into this coaching world, it's not that – Everybody needs to be an actor, but in truth, you have to perform at a certain level. When, when these people get on stage, it, it's them times 10. It's them times 20. You've got to keep that energy up, and it's really the same concept that I shoot for when I'm working with you know, a client. I explain to them, look, I'm going to be hard on you. If, if we have to do it seven takes, we have to do it seven takes. You're paying me good money. So what you need, it, it's almost like in coaching, you have that accountability factor. Well, behind the camera, you need somebody that's going to be accountable so that they deliver that product. You know, my acting experience really just helps me relate. I understand it's nerve wracking. I understand when you've said it five times and you're not getting it, it's hard. <laughs> like, you're like, you know, and I just try to make it fun. You know what I mean? I'm joking with them the whole time. 
if they mess up, I'm going to call them out, but I'm going to make a big joke out of it, you know, <laughs> and, and get them to understand that, hey, my goal is your goal. Let's do the best that we can do here together. We know it's exciting. This is a perfect time, Brian, for us to tell everybody how they can connect with this awesome guy. Man, you know what? We're like on the same wavelength all night tonight because everything you said earlier, I was like thinking the same exact thing. And now the same. This is great. That's why she's my business partner and not yours. I'm not, I'm not talking to you, Jimbo. Just everybody out there listening. <laughs> That's but, right. Uh, That's right. <laughs> for those of you that want to connect with Jimbo after the show, you'll notice that there's an image of him right now during the live show beneath us. Later, it will be above us. But for now, look down and you'll see his picture with a camera. Pick, uh, not pick. Oh, boy. Click right on his Don't nose. <laughs> click on no his picking. nose. Clicking. Yeah. No picking, just clicking. But after the show. And that will take you directly to his Facebook page. In addition to that, there's also a banner that says Your Video Solution. That is his business website for the moment. He's expanding his horizons, and we'll get into that touch on that later in the show, and you won't want to miss this. But to get a little more in-depth knowledge of who this guy is and what makes him tick, especially go check out his About Us, I think it is, link, where he's got like a FAQ <laughs> style. Very humorous. He is what he, he preaches. He's humorous. He's funny. He's also very yeah. bright. He's high integrity. We've seen him in action, in person. And all the traits he's talking about, being humorous, uh, get her done kind of mentality, all of that put together, that was him. At our testimonial, he was doing that get her done type stuff. I'm like, whoa, this guy's serious. Let's, okay, we're going to straighten up and do this right. So everything you're hearing is absolute truth. We can vouch for it. But definitely connect with him. Hit his nose. Click on his nose. Don't pick it. Click it. And we're going to make that a new uh, mantra. Don't pick it. Click it. And then uh, <laughs> click on his nose. And then this is after the show. Don't do it now. And then uh, also click on the banner beneath to find out more about this fantastic young man, Jimbo Marshall. Only young for a few more days. You know, he has a birthday coming. 43. <laughs> I mean, it's over, right? You're, 43. You're oh, my gosh. still a babe. I, I still ride a dirt bike. I'm going wakeboarding in the morning. You're well, let me tell you what. You live in Texas, right? You're still a pup. That's right. That's right. That's right. My good years are ahead of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, something I want to know is how important is it? I mean, we've been talking about what you do, as Brian was pointing out, some of the special things that and talents and gifts that not everybody in your position has. But um, how important is it to have a video director, a video producer, a real video coach? Because that because that's what you are. And how does that separate you from the, the Craig Bliss guy? Well, I, I think, you know, I've, I've kind of said it in so many ways, but I'm looking for partners. I'm not, I mean, that is the bottom line. If, if a client, That's good. when they get to the marketing piece, like so many, I mean, it'd be great if we all knew how to do websites, if we all knew how to do social media, if we could all do all of this crap ourselves, right? <laughs> <laughs> the reality is we're in a game where we have to be constant in your face. I mean, we do it politely. We do it with incense. We do it with flowers. We do it with chants. We do it with crystals, right? But nonetheless, you look at the big players out there. I call them the big dogs. There's not too many weeks go by that you don't get an email from them that reminds you about something that they've got to offer, right? Right. The reality is to put together that kind of machine, it does take a team. You know, you've got to have a VA who can handle all the website and the opt-ins. You've got it all. I'm just learning all of this shopping one cart stuff and how that really works on the back end, you know. You've got to have all of these elements in place. Where I come in or somebody like me, I think, is like it's a, it's a piece of that puzzle that you go, all right, here's this launch. We've got our videos being produced on this day um, and Jimbo's going to help us write the scripts or whatever might do. You know, when we bring people into the studio, I've worked with them on the pre-production phone calls generally for a couple hours before they've sent me scripts. I've rewritten their scripts because the reality is, is people, people write smarter than they speak, you know? So in other words, I'll look at something written and go, all right, when you read that, you kind of sound uppity, 
And I'll just, you know, say it like, hey, I don't understand what you're trying to say. Plain English works. Uh, the reality is we're looking at, you know, when I make video, I know this sounds crazy, but if I were to pop it in front of a ninth grader, they should understand it. And that's the truth because we can't expect everybody to understand our jargon and all of our terminology. This is what I really learned working with medical doctors. You know, I've worked with doctors and we'd be doing a show on dental implants and they'd be like talking like, you know, well, you need four implants. And I'm like, doctor, nobody cares how many implants they need. Here's what they care about. Are they going to be able to smile with confidence and feel good about themselves? They don't give a crap how many teeth are in their mouth as long as they look like somebody else and they're smiling and they can go out to dinner and their dentures don't fall out. <laughs> That's what people want. We're not as complex, you know, as we like to think we are. So for me, it's a partnership. And I want to know, like, really, where's your big plan? Let's look at, ahead uh, to a year. Like last Tuesday, we were shooting videos for the new year. You know, so she's going to have videos that come out on Facebook January 2nd, 3rd, 4th, so that you know what happens in the first of the year. People are ready to change. Yes. <laughs> this time I mean it. I'm going to do it this time. Resolutions. Right? And that's all good. I mean, I do the same thing. You look at January as this time to reevaluate your goals. So when I'm like, hey, let's look ahead. Let's look ahead at what we're going to have coming out. How can we maximize the opportunities together? You know, it's not about, you know, how much money can I extract for them? Because I truly believe uh, the money comes when you know, when you're doing what you love and you're good at it and you believe in it and you're willing to put yourself out there, the money comes. I still doubt it some months, <laughs> but for the most part, the money keeps coming, right? And clients keep piling in where it's like, hey, I want to work with you because I've already heard you're different. I've seen what you did with done with so-and-so. So-and-so mentioned you at this place. And for me, that just makes me feel good. I mean, it makes me feel like my parents did a great job raising me, to be honest. I can only hope that my children will grow up and help serve a community of people, and they will do it with the integrity. They'll do it with comedy. They'll do it with a little shocking humor every once in a while. <laughs> but at the end of the day, they know they will rest their head knowing that they are helping people. And that's truly what I want to do. And I think that's so awesome. we're in a flooded market with the video production. Tons of people out there that can do it and tons of good people. There's no doubt about it. Um, but really, it's just like everything else. When you have a connection with somebody, your results are going to be better. You know, you made a, a very astute point that really stuck with me. That was right as if a ninth grader could understand it. I was kind of chuckling over here and it made me think, do you remember yeah. back when Dennis Miller became part of the Monday night live football crew? And he, too smart. he was, he was <laughs> yeah. saying all of his words were like more than three syllables and you got football fans That's with beers so in one hand and popcorn and chips in the other. And they're like, what'd he say? You know, <laughs> it's like, it's like, dude, he just made a tackle. Okay. <laughs> let's back off of that reference that I have no understanding exactly. of. It's like going back to the 14th century. <laughs> right. So, <laughs> Like on what? Yeah, it couldn't be truer what you no, said. Well, you know, that takes a bit of hood spot too for Jimbo for you to stand there and tell your client because a lot of people yeah. would, you know, maybe go, well, maybe you shouldn't do it like that and kind of walk on eggs a little bit. It's, but to be able to put it out there and say, you know what, you're paying good good money. Yeah. This is how it needs to be in sound. I mean, that's yeah. worth a lot too. Exactly. And, and I don't want to scare everybody out there that I'm way too expensive because I'm not. But I think the truth is, in so much of life, you get what you pay for. Mm. Period. That is, true. <laughs> I mean, there's, that is true. There's not a lot of exceptions to that rule, right? And so for me, it's like, look, and I've gone through this, Kathy, where I, it, it's, you know, we, we I am in uh, Lisa Sasevich's mastermind, so I'm a sassy, and they talk about the wormhole and what you know, it's gotten you to this point. It's the experience in the past that that makes you who you are today and what you're able to give and to deliver. And the reality is I've made those mistakes where I wasn't strong enough with clients, where I really didn't, I didn't listen to my gut because I was like, okay, they're paying me and let's just be thankful and <laughs> no more. I, I, because there was just too many times where I'm like, 
I'm not doing you, I'm not doing you service by not saying anything. Yeah. That's hurting you because you're coming in with this impression that you kind of know everything. And the reality is you could come in, you should come in like a partner and, and we work this out together. And that's the, my best videos is it's, are those clients, they really utilize that process, you know? Now you've talked about the well, importance. You know, you, oh, go ahead. I just you talked about the importance of, well, that you help businesses and entrepreneurs using your trade, your videography trade, and yeah. I'm just curious: can the techniques you use be used in any business model? Can it help anyone in virtually any kind of business model, or is it specific to? Yeah, I, sp I believe it can. I mean, I think there's. <clears throat> so many mom and pop shops out there, brick and mortar type businesses. The reality is you have to have an online presence nowadays. There's not an option for that. If you're going to really succeed in a, in a bigger way, you know, I mean, certainly you can have a haircut store down the street and you have clients that have been coming there forever. But if you're really trying to expand your reach, there's not a lot of options other than internet video. You have your live events, but really how do people get to those events? It's through video, through kind of knowing you, you're writing. So if you take the mom and pop business, well, here's a great example. I'll go off on a little tangent, not too much. I have another project called Temecula Wedding Video Tours, okay? And what that is, is it's all local businesses here in the Temecula Valley. I've shot weddings here for about 13 years. Um, I now have somebody that's managing that, uh, Wesley, my partner is handling all that end of the business, which is great. Uh, it's a great income stream. Uh, you know, people, regardless of how hard the times are, they still get married. So even, <laughs> and we've got the wedding video down to a complete science, you know, we know what to expect. I've been to so many weddings, there's not a lot of surprises. Well, all of these businesses are really, or are, the majority of them are like local forests, you know, they've got a basically a, a storefront with, you know, the coolers and everything like that, or a cake maker. And we go in for them, <clears throat> shoot a two minute video, or we bring them into the studio. I coach them the exact same way. What are the benefits? No, you know what I mean? People sure. want to romance you down. It's the romance that makes us open our wallets. It's that emotion that makes us, you know what I mean? Like Lisa Sasevich will talk about this, <laughs> this idea of like, uh, you know, it's not in the service delivery, it's in the delivery promise. It's in what, what is the transformation? What happens at the end of this? I don't care how it happens, right? So the bride, if we go back to our brick and mortar business, the bride doesn't care where the flowers came from that morning. She doesn't care what kind of rubber bands are tying them together for her bouquet, unless they have diamonds on them and you know stuff like that. What she care about, what she cares about is those flowers look good at her wedding. That's yes. it, <laughs> right? So for me, I coach my florist and go, look, we wanna talk about the experience that floral design can bring to an event because everybody walks in and goes, whoa. And everybody's looking around trying to smell these flowers because they look delicious. That's what I sell. Does well, that answer your question? <laughs> I think a little bit. I don't know. It did indeed. You know, <laughs> before I before I started stepping on Brian the la there in the last before the last question, um, I put out there and asked if anybody had any questions. And we actually had a comment, okay. and the, and the comment was, and I only because I know, but. <laughs> the comment was, they're getting a lot from what you're saying. It's very yeah. valuable, but but they have a little bit of a concern that you're expensive. Yeah. But but and then he prefaced it by saying, but worth it. So what yeah. I what I want to say before I, I let you kind of take this, you know, we don't want to talk about prices here. That's not what we're on right, for. Right. But I do know because I had a conversation with you the other day. And, and I asked specifically about a couple of packages, and I was yeah. pleasantly surprised. Yeah. So I will, without divulging, I think that they should certainly, if they're considering anything like this, um, yeah. it's nice to know that you are conveying that you were like over the top expensive. That shows absolutely how good you are. Yeah. But, <laughs> but he is extremely, extremely reasonable. And, yeah. and I'll let you um, follow up with that, uh, Jimbo, if you'd like. Well, I, I will say this. Numbers don't lie. 
I mean, it takes a lot to uh, keep this train rolling. Um, and I've never, you know, it's kind of one of those things. We all get a little freaked out. Like, what are we worth? What does this cost? And how much should I pay? And if this person is charging so much less, what does that mean to me? I think being in, you know, this world of, uh, I, I always call it this world, which I love, you know, with the masterminds and, you know, the bigger thoughts and all these kind of things. I had gotten to a point where I was like, I I'm not going to apologize for my prices. I'm actually just about to raise them, uh, and the pricing won't be on my website, according to my coach, much longer. Um, but here's what I think. We, I, when I believe in somebody's message, I want to work with them. So for me, it's, and, and of course, money is all relative, you know what I mean? What might be some for me is not much for another person, and that's all great. We offer payment plans. I'm very flexible as far as like terms. I just trust everybody until you prove me otherwise. And then I say really bad things about you. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. Uh, you're the asshole who didn't pay, right? I don't know what to tell you. Um, I don't know. I saw you. You did a little skit where you were doing the whole uh, Forrest Gump thing with a box of chocolates. You know, you look like a pretty mellow dude. <laughs> I mean, for me, I don't try to live my life like money is the center of all of it. I think, you know, mo like most of the people watching, it's probably your kids, it's your family, it's the things you do for fun. Money is what kind of makes it all kind of go around, and that's great. We all need it. Um, I definitely can say this. If you invest in my services, you are getting a fantastic deal. You are going to get more than you expected. Um, that's my goal. Like I always say, like, you know, if you spend a VIP day with me in the studio, I'm going to really say, Hey, we're shooting for four to six videos, but generally I deliver between six and eight. Right. And that depends on the talent, how much material we really have, where they are. Um, <clears throat> for example, the last, last week I only delivered three videos, but they were three content videos of her teaching. So they're gonna be like between eight, or between five and eight minutes a piece. They'll have some animation in it, um, some text that really kind of grab you. Because I think ultimately what people have to realize, if you're gonna go pay somebody a thousand dollars, let's say to shoot a video, and it's gonna be two minutes, right? And you feel like it's gonna be all professional. The reality is that two minutes is competing with so many other things in somebody else's life from email to the dishwasher going off to dinner to a kid's homework everything competes for our attention so my goal is to grab them make it cute make it entertaining bring out your personality what would work with you you know I work with a client um, and I she tells a story, it's a great story about uh, capturing this little boy who captures bugs in a jar. And it turns out, you know, that we have to really fly outside the jar to, to do our thing, right? So a couple days later, kid takes this jar, uh, lit up the jar, the bug, all the bugs don't fly. It's like, what? You're free. Well, we're all free. But until we step out and fly outside of our jar, we're going to be banging up inside the glass, right? And so what I did with her is I was like, look, this is going to cost you more money, <laughs> but I want to hire an animator to animate that story because mm -hmm. it's going to take somebody into a little different world. And what does that do for you? It, it draws them in. It makes them feel more connected. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because now all of a sudden they're forgetting they're watching kind of a sales type video. They're just realizing that's true. Like if I don't ever spread my wings and fly, how would I expect to get anywhere? You know what I mean? So for me, so for me, I'm just like, hey, let's make this story entertaining. And now she goes, that was one of the best things I've ever done. So you really do get what you pay for. I think if anybody's interested, they can certainly, you know, email me and check it out. Prices are still there. I'm not trying to hide anything. <laughs> Yeah.
That's that's awesome because it's. I think that because it was brought up, it's important to know. But that that's yeah. really not well why we're here. Right. But, yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean we just like, know a, that. just like a website or what you guys have experienced in putting your show together. Wow, when you add an additional piece of equipment or you get a real microphone, man, that makes a difference. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so, it does. Yeah. All... <laughs> oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. You know, I think that, in, and it's because you speak so highly and you have so much experience behind you that it. I mean, it feels like you're hundreds of thousands of dollars. It, no. It does. Now, I've got to say, it feels that way. But I've got to say, you get hundreds and thousands of dollars of value and experience. Right. It's just that you, you're you not paying. You're not paying that. So yeah, what, a what an time. absolute gem. And I would snag you before you change that price or take, <laughs> or take it off your... Uh, <laughs> well, thank you. A lot of times, you know, I'll consult with clients. You know, we'll do like a strategy session and assess their needs. And really, I'll determine before they do that they're not ready, that here's what you should do. It's not like I say no flip cams. It's, I mean, flip cams are great when they're used properly. You know what I mean? So what I like my clients to do is have a mixture of professional video with flip cam material so that when they're at those events, they can shoot it. They feel confident about uploading it because their intro video is spot on killer. You know, we've used a teleprompter with them. It's under a minute. We do the research. We keep current on all the statistics on what people watch and how long they watch it. Mm. So we really, wow. we bring that education to the client. We go, look, I know you think your message is really worth 10 minutes, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Talking about 10 minutes, if you don't yeah. mind, yeah. I think this is a perfect time Brian had mentioned that you're that you are not only a, a a producer and a director, you are also an actor, and we want to yeah. hear about yeah. what you've got coming up. And I think this is an awesome time to segue. What do you think, Brian? Absolutely. How about you, Jimbo? You want to set it up? Well, I feel like I've just done all of the talking here. Is that the way it's supposed to go? Yes, this it is. is. My first show, so I don't really know. <laughs> you're fabulous. Yes. Okay, good. I, I'm bored with myself, so I just want to make sure. Um, <laughs> Well, what I, I, uh, like I said, I've been really blessed to work with some really great coaches in this industry. And one of them um, came to me and, and I was like, okay, what next for me? My clients, I, I'm building it. I'm getting this movement kind of started. I'm, I'm feeling it. And she was like, web show. And I was like, no, not really feeling a web show because I know that if I did a web show, it would have to be amazing right because I'm a video producer so I can't just throw a camera up and go action and let's do this so I, uh, I had this story that uh, it's with Andrea Lee so if you know Andrea Lee she's amazing and you should check her out if you don't know her just trust me um, so I'm flying to Canada sh to shoot her event the wealthy thought leader in May and I'm all excited I've got my assistant with me uh, Wesley and you know, I was like really proud of myself. Like I'm paying for this kid to come with me. You know what I mean? Not a kid, but I'm paying for this kid to come with me and <laughs> good time now, right? And I get to Vancouver and they do not let me in the border. Right? Oh. I mean, I literally got held up at customs. Two and a half hours later, they said, a Canadian can do this job. You're welcome to appeal, but in the meantime, you're going to go back to Los Angeles. <laughs> wow. Gosh. And so in a moment, I lost, you know, more than a mortgage payment. And really the connections, you know, guys, when you go to these sure. events, really the networking is oh, what yeah. you're there for. A lot of the times, you, you these people that you, you get to know online and you meet up and you're like, whoa, you're really real. Um, <laughs> It's so great, right? So I get sent home and I'm all depressed. And I realize that because of all the, you know, these powerful women I'm around and smart men, we'll call them. Um, <laughs> it's all about mindset, right? And so the reality was on a Wednesday, I'm flying back home to Los Angeles. I lose this job, but my daughter's graduating fifth grade 
on Friday. Mm -hmm. So I get to be there. So really, have I lost anything? Not so much. I mean, money I will make. You know, I'm convinced of that. So I got to see her graduate and she was so excited. And that birthed the first episode of what's now called Can I Get a Transformation? And it's a new web show that's going to be launched September 20th, really excited about it. Um, and it's really for this coaching world and it's really kind of a comical, satirical, sometimes a little mean look <laughs> at <laughs> what goes on in the world of coaching. And so it's complete with uh, characters, animation, um, and all kinds of wackiness really designed to get people to go, all right, maybe it's not that serious because let's face it, you guys know this, as a solo entrepreneur, man, your office can get really small, right? It feels like you're just tucked into this computer and, <laughs> and the world is kind of against you and all of your friends are just these people online who, you know, read the star maps and like you're crazy stuff like this, right? Like, so you feel alone. And so my goal really is just to bring a bit of comedy, you know, five minutes a month to where people can just get a good chuckle and go, all right, I'm ready to go back to work, you know? So th that's what the show's about. We've got the preview, the promo online now, and I think do you guys have it ready to show. You want to do ready. that? That'd be great. Absolutely. Awesome. Here we go. We'll be right back after the video is complete. Is it just me or are you sick and tired of the heart-centered, overly earnest self-helper helps who take themselves way too seriously? Oh, shit. Did I just step on your toes? I I'm really sorry. I, I, I promise I did not intend to. But trust me, it's okay. We've all been there. I, I mean, after all, life is really hard. You know, if you let it be and you're taking it seriously and you know, you take care of your kids and you know, stuff like that. Here's the thing. There's a way to take the work you do seriously without taking yourself seriously. Huh? You get it. The last thing you want is for your life to be some repeat of a lifetime movie of the week. Enough, Meredith Baxter. We get it. It's dramatic. And do you realize that one of the best ways to attract clients and keep them is to show up fully engaged with a sense of humor. You can get out there, change the world with your blessing, and laugh out loud while you're doing it. Hey, it's all about perspective, baby. Anyway, that's just me trying to change the world one giggle at a time. Because let's face it, being a heart-centered, energy-healing, transformational solopreneur leader has got to be tiring. Until they know the real you. I I've known monkeys with more talent than you. Can I get a transformation? Someone please follow back if you're feeling me. Authors, coaches, and those who speak. Can I get a transformation? Someone please. You gotta sign up for the show because I've gotta build a list. That's what I was told I need to do. So I'm building my list. And if you go sign up, it will be cool. I'm gonna break it down Jimbo style with a microphone and video camera while I'm laying down beats and he's making you laugh about speaking on stage or selling from the back. So can I get a transformation? Someone please holler back if you're feeling me. Authors, coaches, and those who speak. Can I get a transformation? Someone please. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> So, yeah, so, I mean, if you want to talk about authentic, I never knew why I needed a list. <laughs> so, <laughs> I just have, you know, these women telling me, you got to get a list, you got to get a list. 
Um, because ultimately, just like everybody else out there, I've got to get my name out. And for me, I just wanted to do it while making people laugh. You know what I mean? <laughs> Teaching them a few things. So we're going to be sending out, um, you know, video techniques and tips um, along with things that just kind of make me smile. The show, which is, uh, like I said, due to launch on September 20th, is going to be about five minutes. And it's going to be like a really like a Saturday Night Live but set into the world of coaching and with a good little message of hope and inspiration mixed in there. Now, for awesome. people to get awesome. on awesome. your list, uh, you have a website that has begun. It's not complete, so we're open and honest about everything yeah. here, but it is in the process yeah, yeah, yeah. of being uh, put together. You do have, however, the opt-in list is, is now up and working, correct? So to help we out our men. Just got, yeah, we literally just got the opt-in box working today. Like I had no idea. so. Thank you to Aaron Faree of Brand Style Design and uh, Solomar Marketing. Solomar Marketing, you guys met Chelsea. She's helped me try to put this whole thing together because now what we're realizing is, you know, and what I've always thought is, for me, comedy just defeats everything, right? So I figure if I can make people laugh and get them loosened up, we're going to achieve better things together. And for Absolutely. Those for those of well, you that want to get, what. go ahead. I just want to real quick say for those of you who want to get on his list before his grand opening, and you could get in there, get sneak yeah. peeks, be one of the first to actually know when it goes live. I'm going to put the URL yeah, on the screen right <laughs> now, and also say it. It's can I get a transformation dot com? Can I get a transformation dot com? Go to that website, put in your information. You can tell by watching and listening to Jimbo. He's not a scammer. He's not a spammer. He's trustworthy. He's high integrity. Uh, and if if he does become a spammer or scammer, let Kathy and I know because we know where to find him. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but here's what <laughs> Who has time to be a spammer or something? It's like, I'm no, trying to be making videos, man. <laughs> <laughs> so what well, I say you will be great. <laughs> I've got to tell you this. This is what... What's awesome, because of the fact that you are like in a transitional period right now, we get to have you back sometime in November so yeah. that you'll be able to share some of the episodes that you will have put together oh, between now and then. Can't wait. Brian and I are both excited and looking forward to that five minute break because, you know, Jimbo's right. Sometimes it does feel like what we just saw on the video that, uh, yeah. that Brian played for us. Well, I got to oh. tell you, it's like every week, Jimbo, I'm not kidding. The hour seems to end just as fast as it began. And I just right. want to tell you that Brian and I, from the bottom of our hearts, are so glad that we connected with you. Talk about blessings. What a blessing to have met you at Linda P. Jones's event that she had a couple of months ago. Mine as you as mentioned, well, Catherine, as well. she yeah. is a fabulous friend and a fabulous lady as well. Just want to tell you, we look forward to having you back the next time. Thank you so much. We look to a further connection with you as time goes on. And to everybody out in our audience that has spent the hour with us, we hope that you have had another very informative, action-packed hour with Jimbo and the, the video that he just shared. Brian, I'm going to send it back over to you. And Jimbo, I, I reflect, everything Kathy said was absolutely perfect and just want to say a, a heartfelt thank you for carrying that very bright torch of integrity with you wherever you go. Again, Kathy and I saw you in action the way you are there there was no makeup uh you were dressed similarly as you are now and because you were working and when it came time to work we'd be back there chatting and when it was time for you to get up it, you weren't apologetic you said you just got up and that i understood it yeah so you are yeah. you are exactly who you say you are and kathy and i can attest to that so thank you for doing what you do and caring so much and putting such high value into what you do so that you know there just aren't enough people like you around anymore unfortunately uh, at Thank least you, here's Brian. one that no one I has really to sift through the that. weeds to find. Jimbo Marshall, yourvideosolution.com, and soon to be on the new website. But get on that list we talked about earlier. You'll find out what he's got brewing. Uh, get in there and start spreading the word about Jimbo. He's a very nice guy. He could use some help, uh, as all as all of us could. <laughs> That's right. All right. That's right. Well, with that, we want to respect everyone's time. We have a fantastic show lined up again next week. Be sure to register on the link above. If you haven't already, we will also notify you about our upcoming shows. Uh, that way you don't have to remember and you get a, a kind reminder. And you can come see us again along with another fantastic guest just like Jimbo. All right. With yeah. that, we'd like to say good night and we'll see you all again next week. Bye-bye now.
Good night. Thank you for having me, guys. Everybody.